Hi right, guys, we're going to be covering stationary points and points of inflection in this session. Okay, let's get, let's get going. Now you might be used to the idea that stationary points occur when um, f dash fx equals to zero from previous years. Or if you haven't, it basically means if the gradient is equal to zero, that, then it's said to be wherever that point where the gradient is zero, it is called a stationary point. And there's two types that you might be familiar, familiar with. And the two types are the maximum and minimum. The maximum, which is on the left, is when, you, when your turning point is at the maximum um, possible y value that it could have. And of course, the one in the middle, this is where the minimum uh, stationary point is because that's the, most, the least value that you could get for the y value. Now there's one more thing that, um, that I'm going to introduce this time, and that is the stationary point. Sorry, not a stationary point, the point of inflection. Now, with the point of inflection, you have to realize that it is right there. And what it does is that it, I mean, in this particular graph, you can see that the gradient is actually positive. It comes to zero um, at the point of inflection. Then you'd kind of expect it to go to negative, but it doesn't. It starts going back in a positive gradient. So this is what you call um, a point of inflection. Okay, with that in mind, I'm going to look at something different. It's called concavity. And the idea behind concavity is um, quite straightforward. This right here is considered concave up. And this right here is considered concave down. And that's basically the idea behind concavity. Now you might wonder how this is going to affect, um, I mean, why we need to know this. But um, I'm going to explain to you how in the next upcoming slides. So let's have a look at this graph here. Obviously this graph, I mean, I've actually uh, purposefully done it so that there is a red part and a purple part to it. All right, now I know for a fact that the red part is concave up and the purple part is actually concave down. In other words, if you ever wanna, s if you ever wanna know where the point of inflection is, the point of inflection happens when your when it changes from concave up to concave down. That's when the point of inflection happens. So if you remember the previous example, in the previous example it was a cubic where the left hand side was, uh, let me just see if I can get a picture of it. So if you can see, this part right here is concave up. And of course, this part, sorry, the red part is concave down and the purple part is actually concave up. Obviously, when it changes concavity, that's when the point of inflection happens. So the point of inflection is right there. So with that, guys, in summary, just having a look at all the things that we've looked in this video so far. In summary, stationary points, uh, they happen when f dash of x equals zero. Now, a function is said to be increasing when f dash of x is greater than zero. Now, you might wonder why I put the increasing function in here. I'll explain it in a second. Um, a decreasing function, if it's decreasing function, then uh, f dash of x has to be less than zero. Okay, so why do I have the increasing and decreasing function? Now, for a point, a stationary point to be maximum, uh, if you can think of it, for a maximum um, stationary point, uh, the function must be increasing first, then it starts decreasing. For a point, uh, stationary point to be minimum, a function should be decreasing first and then increasing. And also, we had a look at concave up which is looking like this, and concave down, where it looks like this. And with that in mind, a point of inflection, a point of inflection happens when, um, hold up, sorry, as I was saying, a point of inflection happens when the concavity changes. So if it goes from concave up to concave down, then there's a point of inflection, or if the other way around, if it goes from concave down to concave up, 
then it's considered a point of inflection. All right, guys, that's all for this session um, in terms of stationary points, points of inflection. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.